There's a storm coming, Israel. There's a storm coming. All right. Yet another lesson. This is Isaiah 3, verse 11. Mm hmm. See, my phone chimed on that one twice. Woe unto the three times. Woe unto the wicked. It shall be ill with him. For the reward of his hands shall be given him. Verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. <laughs> oh, my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err and destroy the way of paths. Verse 13. The Lord Yahweh standeth up to plead and to stand to judge the people. See that? To what? To judge the people. <laughs> Verse 14, the Lord Yahweh will enter into judgment with the enchantments of his people and the princes thereof, for ye have eaten up the vineyard, the spoil of the poor in your houses. Verse 15, what mean ye that ye beat my people to pieces and grind the faces of the poor, saith the Lord, Yahweh, our power of host. <laughs> First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha, Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. Health and shalom to you, brothers, that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. It's the brother Gabar Dama coming back at you. I got a couple clips to show you. I got one from the brother. Uh, Zadaka Rum, all right, uh, which he uh, had done a lesson, uh, you know, yesterday, last night, a little later, okay. And then another clip I found that's going to go right into Isaiah 3, verse 16, amongst other things, she said, all right, because this was getting ready to happen. Eve, northern and southern kingdom, he's getting ready to take away all that bravery. He's getting ready, he's getting ready to uh, uh, let you, uh, make you understand. Who your head is, what your hedge of protection is going to be, and that all that attitude is going to fly out the window. All that understanding that you think you're going to have is going to be corrected. And you will be trotted down like a mire in the street if you don't have what? A hedge of protection. Now, let's go here. And it's a fact. I'm going to say it from, from me to you. This is just straight up. Black women, 80% of them, they don't like uh -huh. you. 80%, I'm, I'm probably sure. It's All right, one. but can you pay my bills? Can you pay my telephone bills? Can you do this? Can you do that? Now, we, we understand and we know that, you know, uh, the, 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 the devil, which in fact was the spirit of Esau, Edom, that serpent in the garden, uh, he, be, he beguiled Eve. And she took it, hook, line, and sinker. All right, and we know and we understand through the scriptures, we know why they don't like us, because they've got it. They, the scripture said, "Rise up, ye women that are at ease." They've got it comfortable. They've uh, uh they they you know, basically living in their kingdom. All them little kits and stuff you got, your makeup kits and and your uh, uh uh you know your little uh your fingernails and your toenails, all that shit's going down out the window. All right, you there's there, there's something going on here. And Babylon is 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 the main is the main place where all this is gonna go down. And that's that. All right? So to you people with the, uh, uh, I don't understand the 12 tribes, it, it's because because it, it, it makes sense. It's in Ezekiel anyway. Let's keep playing it. But at least 80% of black women in this day and age, it don't matter how old or young they are, they have a general dislike and hatred for you. That's your real climate, brother. See, I'm not telling you something that you ain't already felt. I'm telling you something that you know. I think it's more to. I truly think it's more to. I think it's more to. And I'm tired of being the one that's not talking about it. I've said this. This is one of the main reasons. I don't have a lot of black female friends. I really don't, y'all. I don't. I couldn't imagine what it would be like as a black man. It's an abundance of you that think that all men are dogs. But you, we all know it means black men. You, you know heard what she said? We are, we already understand that. I put a, I did a video some months back. It, it, matter of fact, it was uh, you know last year, right? Two, 2023. 
going into it, where these damn Eves, man, they was talking about uh, 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 the one uh, Eve wrote a book called a damn white man, the white man's whore, and was smiling about it. The other, the other one said uh, said something about we know how we treat y'all, we do it on purpose. We know how we treat y'all, you know the so-called the so-called black man, right? And, and, and hey, and the, and the darker you are, really, the uh, the more disrespect you get. <laughs> like that comedian Rodney Dangerfield said, "I, I get no respect." <coughs> Salakia, okay. And that's just that's just the way it is, man. Esau Edom has done this thing. The scripture goes into it, and it tells you that an enemy have done this, right? All right. Of all relationship conversations is black men ain't shit. Why these black men ain't doing this? I can't bond with y'all, sis. I cannot bond with y'all when you have a general dislike and vitriol and hatred for our male counterpart. Do you not understand how goddamn psychotic that is? See, it's 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 it's. It, I get no respect. The story of my life. No respect. Tell her no respect. Right. Boy, that's the story of my life. No respect. Tell right. No respect. So let's hey, let's continue on here. Matter of fact, it's a storm coming. That's why I got this plan. It's it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's gonna be more than a thunderstorm. You really threw, man. All right. I got a whole. I got another clip too. Second Ezra sixteen verse seventy. For there, for there shall be in every place in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. A great, uh, uh, it said a great insurrection. Now, what's going to happen? Because the, the, the scripture again it says, "Rise up, you women that are at ease. You, you, you comfortable? You, hey, man, and you brothers know, man. You ever been to a chick's house, man? You know, you know, back when you know. <laughs> I'll just leave it like that. You know, back when I was a little young or whatever. You ever been to a chick's house? Everything's all comfortable, or, or apartment or whatever. And, 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 and big, there's big fat fluffy ass pillows everywhere and all that. You know, it, it, it's just it, it's just the way they are. All that comfortableness is getting ready to go away. You it, 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 you're gonna be able to take showers. It, you know, Pookie, Ray Ray, uh, and uh, Ar Armando. Okay, uh, uh, you know, it's it's gonna be more than just Pookie and Ray Ray. It's gonna be Northern and Southern Kingdom. Hell, it's gonna be a bunch of Edomites out there. And you, they already uh, uh, Hebrews twelve and verse sixteen. And the NIV said that they sexually immoral. Okay? And then here it is, you at the gyms and this and that, blah, blah, blah. And why are you there for anyway? To get attention of a man, but as soon as uh, one that looks at you, that you don't deem to be a high value man or whatever, he's a creep. I'm telling you, soon these creeps are going to be all over the streets, wide open. See? For, uh, let's, uh, let's read it. Verse 71, they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they will waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. And the, the bravery, the tinkling of the feet, nose jewels, man, it's all going away. Okay? Now, again, these, you got a bunch of these movements, the MGTOW and men going their own way uh, uh, with the passport bros. You, you've been found out. So it's best if you listen. It's, it's, I mean, it, I'm, I'm just, hey, I'm putting it out there, and, and we telling you e each and every day that it's best if you listen. And if you got a man, especially a man of the Lord, you better hold on to him. I'm telling you, you, be, you better, you better hold on for dear life, because there is something coming down the pipe that you weren't expecting. But the prophets have been telling you this the whole time, and, and, you know. And you really got a beautiful role if you if you just play it. See, my phone is chiming off the, off the hook right now, right? If you just play the damn role, you'd be all right. Now, I got one other clip I want to play you. I want you to check this out. Hey, what do he say? He said, what do he say? I guess, I guess no respect, right? Boy, that's the story of my life. No respect. <laughs> no respect. Uh, I always thought that was funny. All right, let's go here. You know, he, he, he's a good, good father. He is. You know, and and he he has the best intentions for you. His yeah. plans are to prosper you. Yeah. Bring Let's go to... back. I want you to listen to what she said. All right, because it, it just oh boy, silent and loving woman. Now she gets she gets somewhat somewhat humbled 
But then she going in, God, you know, what did I say? God is good all the time. And, yeah, come on, man. Yeah, that's not a balance. All right, let's go into what she says. I want you to listen to what she says. God can't disappoint you, you know. He, he God won't disappoint you. That's the first thing she said. Now, let's see if I can find that scripture. It's here somewhere. Uh, Salakia. Um, uh, Salakia, let's, let's go here. I wanted, I wanted to keep that up. I wanted to keep that up. All that. He, he disappointed the, the... Come on. I had it pulled up. Enterprise. And, and, it, and there it is, right here. Yep. All right, so lock you for that. This is Job 5 and verse 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty. Now, again, has Eve not joined hand in hand all the way from Genesis? It's been that way for the longest time. Has she not joined hand in hand with the damn devil? And she does it yet to this day. Something happens. What, what you know, as a you know, hey, look, something happens, what she do? First thing she does is call the man with the guns. Don't she? Does, does she not do that? They've joined hand in hand. It's, uh, 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 something, something, uh, something happens, and she, she always, uh, I'm, a, I'm a caught a man on you. I'm a caught a man, and sometimes it's for nothing, knowing, knowing for a fact that the so-called black man and Latino and Native Americans are the are the first ones unalive from these damn people that hate us from birth. We are yet to stay in our captivity, but for some reason, they continue, continue, continue to do that. Let's read it again. He disappointed the devices of the crafty. Eve is crafty. She knows what she's doing. Again, that video I put out there, she knows exactly what she's doing. But she she settled and she's at ease. Okay? So that the hands that cannot perform their enterprise. All right? Let's, let's go back. Let's just go ahead. Let, we'll play the whole clip. We'll play the whole thing. Okay? See, you look, she, she looks like a deer in headlights, just gone. He's an expected end. I had that scripture pulled up too. So, Lockie, I keep interrupting the video there, but I can't help it. I cannot help it. And see, uh, you have an expected end. Um, I had that pulled up too. So, Lockie, it's early in the morning, you know. Mm. I know I had that pulled up. Let's just go to it again. All right, let's see. Bear with me. To the end. All right. That's right. That's it right there. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. And who's and, and who's that? Well, let's just read it. Say of the Lord, Yahweh, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Now, now who's he speaking of? Is he speaking of, you know, uh, in, any Eve that's up there talking about God? God is good all the time. No. Is he talking about the ones that, that, that really actually hate their men? The same ones that's going to be a hedge of protection in that day. She that is my enemy, you know, shall be trotted down as a mire in the street, right? That hedge of protection, the, uh, uh, like fine gold, right? All right. Same one that actually hates that man is, is, is going to do a damn hunt. Was it one? Do a 180 real quick. They're going to do a 180. And a lot of you going to get straight up rejected. Why? Because you rejected the word in the first place. And you, ref you refuse to, uh, to hearken and take heed to the words of Yahweh about Shimei Shai. So the ones he, that he, uh, he thinks peace and safety towards and is going to have that hedge of protection, which in fact is Yahweh Shai, right? Is going to be the ones that hearken to his word. Verse 12, then shall ye call upon me and ye shall go and pray unto me and I will hearken unto you. But you, you, you know, you, have, you also have to know what is and what you say. God, God, just a title lady. All right. But she looks crazy and looks stupid. And she's going to look even dumber right here in a minute once you see it. Verse 13. And ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall uh, search for me with all your heart, which in fact is your mind. Okay. Let's go back. We'll play the whole clip this time. And I'll try not to interrupt it. Go on back here. Don't you watch?
God damn. Right. Hey, but you know who did that? Yeah, how about Shimmy Awashai did that? Because she she got to tell me, you know, hey, God's not gonna disappoint you. He's gonna he's gonna make you prosper. He's gonna do this. He's gonna he's a good father. And you know, in which in fact he is a good father. He chastised the ones that he loves, right? But did he tell you to uh, go on? Uh, did, did he tell you to even speak at all to absorb authority over the man? No, but he embarrassed the hell out of her. You know, because the daughters of Zion, what, they're haughty? She in there, she got pants on? What you going, what's the zipper for? What you pulling out? Well, is anybody supposed to be seeing all your shape and all that? And, the, and as soon as that damn fake ass hair fell out, that's it was sort of funny, though. I, ain't, I can't lie about it. As soon as that fake ass hair fell out, damn wig fell off. She she said, oh, my God, she forgot about everything she was saying. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look, look. I got to play it one more time. That was hilarious. <laughs> Call her lawyer. How about shit? I was shot, man. All right, let's go back. Here it is. That's why I stopped there in the first place. Isaiah 3 and verse 16. It's a storm coming. Do you hear it? It's a storm coming. Moreover, the Lord Yahweh saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty. Okay, hold on. Let's go to the blue letter. I can go right here. Let's see the blue letter. Blue letter Bible. <coughs> Taking my time with this lesson. It is what it is. Eve, please listen. And, and again, you got a beautiful robe, but you just you need to listen. All right, it was Isaiah three and verse sixteen. You got to listen. Isaiah three and verse oh, I put two and verse sixteen. Let's look up some of these words here. Moreover, for the Lord, moreover the Lord Yahweh saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty. Let's look that word up, haughty. All right. Let's see what haughty means. The daughters of Zion are haughty. This is H 1361. Gabach. All right. To be high, be exalted. In this kingdom, the woman is put on a freaking pedestal. But I'm telling you. I'm telling you that pedestal is getting ready to be yanked right out from beneath your feet and you're going to fall face down like a mire in the street, as the scripture said in Micah 7. All right. Let's see. To be exalted, to be lofty, to be, uh, it says Jehovah, which that's not his name, to be lofty of Jehovah's ways, good sense. And they, they ain't got no damn good sense. To be haughty, to be arrogant, bad sense. You see that? Arrogant. To make high, exalt. All right, so that's just one word in that, in that one scripture right there. Where was that? Verse 16. 3 and verse 16. Yep, let's keep going. We'll read the rest of that right there. Okay. There we go. Moreover, the Lord Yahweh saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty, you remember? You know, and walk with stretched forth necks. You already understand what that means. All right. And wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go and making a tinkling with their feet. You see, verse 17, therefore, the Lord will smite thee with a scab of the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. And the Lord Yahweh will discover her secret parts. Did you see? See that wig fall off? She didn't, wasn't even no hair up there. She was just, uh, hey, and you, what, she'll, it, it shall be what? Baldness. The scriptures are telling you it's a curse. All right. She, there she is up, up there with all that damn fake ass hair talking about God is good all the time and, and whatever the hell she was talking about. Bunch of nonsense. You can see the just the, the distance in her eyes. She don't know what the hell she talking about. She just up there just talking because she got a, a platform to talk upon. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. And then the hair fell off. And the uh, first thing she says is she em embarrassed. Uh, you know, a matter of fact, uh, uh, a woman's uh, glory is her hair anyway. And it says that in the scripture. You see? And a man's glory is what? The woman. They hypergamous. It tells you right there in the scriptures that she going to trans uh, transgress against thee. Uh, marvel not if she does. 
because that's just the way they are. They did it. They did it back in Genesis. Eve did that, man. Verse 18, in the day that the Lord will take away the bravery of thy tinkling ornaments about thy feet and their cause and their round tires like the moon, the chains and the bracelets and the mufflers, the bonnets and the ornaments of the leg and the headbands and the tablets and the earrings. See, I, again, I was speaking about the, all them little kits. They got, you know, they, they got to walk around with the damn with a, a, a basically a freaking backpack. Cause they got a, a, a what was that song bag lady, you know, with a, what, they got to walk around with a backpack because they got so many things that they need to put on and, and keep with them and all that and it, hey all that's going away. It's it's just it's madness, man. This this Babylon has uh, trained you to just be a damn straight up degenerate, man. You know, and and when you and you really look down into it. And we'll, I'm going to say it like this. If you really look at what men want, what men like, it ain't none of that shit. And it never has been. But you continue to do it. It's just, it's strange. We don't give a damn anyway. It's going to be a point in time where, you know, the scripture says, well, man, it, it, it didn't, like, like he didn't even have a wife. All right. The rings and the nose jewels, the changeable suits of apparel. And the mantles and the and uh, wimples and the crisping pins. See the changeable suits of apparels, a uh, uh, damn closet full of full of shoes and, sh and, and it's just madness, man. The glasses and the fine linen and the hoods and the veils. <laughs> verse uh, Isaiah three and verse twenty four, and it shall come to pass instead of sweet smell that shall be stink. Why? Because there ain't gonna be nowhere to take no shower, you know. And you, uh, you're not going to be able to have your your, uh, your smell goods and, and all that and be able to, it's not going to happen. Jacob's trouble is coming. That means something. Take heed, ye women that are at ease. All right. And she'll, she'll what? It shall be stank, stink. All right. And instead of a girdle or rent, and instead of well set hair, baldness. Did you hear that? Instead of well set hair, baldness. And instead of a stomacher, a girding of sackcloth and burning instead of beauty. And brothers, it even had visions about it. You know what it say? It said baldness. See? Oh. See? You know? And hey, and that, that's, that ain't an ugly woman. Not, not by, the, by any a stretch of any means. Not at all. But the curse is it's right here in front of you. She bald, man. She ain't got no hair. See? And that's one of the curses of the Israelites. And she needs to put some damn clothes on. Okay? I'm just saying. Let's move on back. Let's see where was I at here. Um, yeah. Micah. 7 and verse 10. Then she that is my enemy. What? Uh, let's, let's go back. Uh, I got to start reading before and after. I got to get the whole thought, you know? Verse 8, rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord Yahweh shall be a light unto me. See? In this place, there's nothing but gross darkness around us. But we we let our light shine. That's how we are able to see through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Verse 9, I will bear the indignation of the Lord Yahweh because I have sinned against him. Uh huh. Until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me, he will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. Verse ten. Then she that is mine enemy shall see it. Then she's gonna see it. You know, hey, that that first clip that we went over. You know, she's eighty percent of these black women. They just don't like you. Well, that's that's pretty obvious when they unalive. I don't know uh, uh, how many millions. Let's go there. Let's go there. Planned Parenthood. Let's see. Uh huh. Let's see this. Black women will suffer the most with without Planned Parenthood. I don't know what the hell that is. Let's see. Abortion rates. Let's 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 go here. It's clear to see they don't they don't like the uh, they don't like their little ones at all. That's in the scriptures. It's in Deuteronomy in the in the curses. You see the website cookies. I don't give a shit about no cookies, man. I don't care. Let's look at this chart. It's one of Esau Edom's chart. But when it comes to wickedness, they'll tell you the truth. 
All right. Let's see. What does it say? Black. Let's see. Black or non-Hispanic, which is, uh, you know, that's that's off. You know, because we understand and know that uh, so the so so called Hispanics are the Northern Kingdom brothers. All right. So let's uh, see. Hispanic is in the blue, and that's it. That's right below it. Sixty. What does that say? Sixty percent. 27.1. I don't know what the hell this is going into. Let's see. Abortion rates continue to vary by race and ethnicity. You know, that's how they put it. They, they'll, you know, they have non-Hispanic, white, and whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's all about nations. And and it, my point is, is you did, of course, of course they hate us, all right? Because they hell, they killing their own. And, and, and the Jake Mills are doing the same damn thing. So if they're doing it with the Blickies, okay? You people are sick, man. Let's read it again. All right. Matter of fact, let's go. Where was I at here? There's a blue letter right there. All right. Micah 7 and verse 10. Let's see. I should have just did the whole lesson in the blue letter. All right. Let's see. Micah 7 and verse 10. Let's go to it. Then she that is my enemy shall see it and shame shall cover her would say unto me where is the lord yahweh my power thy power my eyes shall behold her and she shall be trotted down as a mire in the street and this is a future prophecy that hasn't happened yet how do we know because seven women ain't, ain't uh, they ain't pulling at your damn uh your coattails and talking about hey, please 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 help me help me help me you got to think you got to put this in your mind's eye and think about it. What's going to cause these proud ass haunty uh end dubs, you know, for the most part to uh to cling to one man? What's going to it's something something deep, something big, something big is going to have to happen for them to for, for them to uh you know, be put down that low. Something big, big big. Cuz as of right now, shit they happy twerking, having twerk offs at high schools. Okay, they happy unalive and babies. We just saw some of their percentages. They happy doing every damn thing, but but the playing their role, which in fact is a beautiful role. And you uh, and you Aquaf that are doing that, man, shalom to you. Okay, let's look up shame first. Shame. Okay. Shame, 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 shame. We know what shame means. All right. Let's lock you. Here we go. Right here. Yeah, there was no need to pull that up. So lock you for that. She'll cover her. And we said she said it'll be trotted down. I want to look that word up. Mire. Trotted down as a mire. H29 16. Mud. Listen to this very closely. All right, like a pigsty, right? Trampled in 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 a, like a you know in the mud. If you ever seen a pigsty, it's absolutely disgusting. It's it's old food. It's like a damn what do you call that? Uh, uh, it's, it's like a damn trash bin basically, or a, a compost heap, right? All right, mud, clay, mire, damp, dirt, mud, mire, clay. It's right here in the scriptures, man. She said, she that is my enemy, what shall be trotted down? That's underfoot. Just beat up, messed up, toe up from the flow up. Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which save unto me. When the Lord Yahweh thy, well, where is the Lord Yahweh thy power? My eyes shall behold her, and she shall be trotted down as a mire in the street. Okay? And the day that the walls are to be built, in the day, in the day, Shall the decree be far removed? The vintage shall fail, as the scripture said. See? The vintage shall fail. And we, and we went over this right here. You know, wanton eyes walking and missing as they go, making a tickling with their feet. Everything's good and nice. I don't need it. You niggas ain't shit. You look just like your daddy. How many of you heard that? See? You, 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 look, you look just like your daddy. I can't stand that nigga. All right? Stay tuned.